And we'll either see if Martin Trex Jr. follows suit with his teammate Michael Waltrip, or did Rodney Childers, or did Chad Johnson run out there and start pulling tape off the nose of this race car? Yeah, I think it's uh, still a toss-up, Larry. I, I don't, I don't see any advantage. I like what Harvick did. That worked out okay. Um, but I, it still seems to me conventional wisdom has always been here at Daytona, maybe Talladega different. Run that high line, get her wound up, and then run the second lap. And Michael Waltrip said earlier in the week, and I actually talked to Martin Trix Jr. just this morning, they are very, very close to getting the contract extension put together, not only with Martin Trix Jr., but also with Napa Auto Parts, a package deal. Napa on the hood of the Toyota Camry. Martin's piloting around the racetrack here. On the clock, staying up on the high line through one and two and down the back stretch. So he's going to do the conventional style of qualifying here at Daytona. Stay up against the wall, try to get the momentum up as much RPMs as he can as he comes out of turn four and then he'll drop to the bottom of the track. And Martin Trex Jr. He's only made the chase one year and right now we're nine races before the chase and he's sitting eighth in the points. But the good news is 53 point cushion over 11th, which is more than one full race. But looking for that win. Needs Everyone win. looking for that win to feel like they have a little more security to be locked into the chase. Well, even if you're in top 10, you need those bonus points. Uh, so, you know, you, you, you need wins. And that's why Keslowski now wants to work so hard because he has nine bonus points in his pocket if he can indeed stay in the top 10. If the chase started right now, he'd be the point leader. Right. And that's what he missed out on last year exactly. because he was the wild card recipient into the chase. And you don't get to utilize those wins as far as bonus points if you're in the wild card position. Martin Truex Jr. coming back for his second lap inside the top five. 18 cars have been on the racetrack. Martin Truex Jr. slotted fourth in the fastest Toyota that has been out there. 47.060 on lap number two. That's about two tenths quicker than Michael's run uh, where Michael ran just a one lap on the bottom. Martin ran the conventional way and he was two tenths quicker on that second lap.